if you want to make a million dollars in the next 60 days, watch this video. Because right now, crypto is said to make so ridiculously many people rich. And I'm not kidding, guys. Right now, over the last, I think, week or so, we've made a couple hundred thousand dollars by doing one simple thing. And you want to know a fun thing? It's not even that hard to replicate. Even though this video is not financial advice, but I'm sharing you my best tips. I will tell you right here that if you're not making money over the next week or two, you're doing something wrong. Because even today, all right, I woke up pretty early to go ahead and start buying specific cryptocurrencies. And right now I'm looking at my portfolio and I think we're up like 3x from where we started at this morning. And so the one thing right now is to buy meme coins. I know you must be thinking, oh, click away that video. This guy's talking random stuff. Oh, this guy's trying to shill us something. No. In fact, I'd rather not even talk about one, any single meme coin here. My goal is not to make you buy one specific thing. It's for you guys to understand the motion right now, to understand where we are at in the crypto market and to understand that I've been screaming this for good a good year, I'd say right now, that you have to understand when the crypto market is in what position. Right now, it's meme coin season. Point. Flat. It's meme coin season. Buy meme coins, buy miscellaneous ones, buy crazy ones, but don't buy the ones that are already well established by the ones that are coming in early. The way I usually do it is I just go to Twitter, all right? Look and see what a lot of these guys are posting. Specifically, I look at what the influencers are posting and just try to buy in early. Not much money per coin. Let's say just $100 each coin. And if you buy 10, most likely one of them will result in at least a 15x gain in about a day. Most of the time, it's in about an hour or so, but let's just call it a day or a couple of days. And I'd say that that's by far the most profitable strategy right now because it's the season for it. Before I move on, let me tell you guys two things. One, make sure you've pressed that like button. Why? Because I'm trying to share all the insights that I can find with you for absolutely free. All I ask in return is a like. And once you've done that, this one is for you. Join the Telegram or Discord just Join any of the socials where you can find my quick text, you know, my quick little messages. Because I'm going to try share anything that I'm buying in those groups. Not financial advice. I don't want you to buy my bags. I'm just going to share things. So hopefully it can teach you kind of what things I'm looking at and what makes me buy something. It could very well be, though, that I buy things that turn out to be a scam because I'm just buying things that look good. Doesn't mean they are. So please don't trust me. This is meme coin season. It's not fundamentally good cryptos. I can't get scammed. I am not certain every single coin I talk about is going to do well, but we're trying things out. Full transparency there. On the side, comment down below which meme coin you think is going to pop next. Let's just, let's just go see this. Again, you have to understand that you can't do this all the time. You can't do this always. It's specifically right now. Pepe has been doing so extremely good recently and, well, a lot of other coins are following in its footsteps. You can see here in the hot pairs, it's only meme coins right now. And the thing is, even I can't tell you what the next big meme coin is going to be. All I can tell you is, don't be surprised if the next couple of days are going to comprise of me sharing with you guys some of the results of meme coins that I've bought or convincing you as to why buying meme coins is a good idea, even though it might sound crazy. I think for the most part, a lot of these things are probably built by the same people. They're probably raking in tens of maybe hundreds of millions of dollars by pushing these projects which have no fundamental value. It's just literally people buying it for the sake of making money and possibly for the joke, kind of like I'm doing here. That does not mean there's no money to be made though. And I think a lot of these guys like BitBoy must probably be having deals with the project to talk about them. But honestly, I'm going to tell you something. I don't care. I literally do not care what type of deal he's got because the way I think about it is we're still going to be able to make money because if he, let's say, hypothetically speaking, we bought something that was trending a little bit, then all of a sudden he makes a big video about it and it goes absolutely trending. Well, in that process, probably more people are going to buy after he's made the video. So, you know, if we're a little bit early to it, it's still going to benefit us. So it doesn't matter if he got money for it or if he's trying to pump his own bags because we probably have the same bag. How do I know, though, that meme coin is here? A meme coin season, I mean, is here. Well, one of the things I noticed was Elon Musk started tweeting again. Well, he tweets a lot, but he started tweeting something kind of surprising. He tweeted out cult slash culture. And the moment he did it, a coin, which is cult DAO, something that I used to be kind of involved with, not anymore because it's kind of 
weird. <laughs> well, it started pumping like 70% or so right after he said that, which, you know, notified me of, okay, right now it's a period of, ah, we're probably in a good position to, to go a little bit crazy. You can see all the comments right here. And it's mostly because that one coin Pepe just did so exceedingly well, 20X in two weeks or so. And so which coins am I buying? Please understand. In no way, shape, or form am I trying to make you buy my bags here. And please, I am not saying that this is a good idea. I am not here at all to try flex, brag, whatever. And I'll even be telling you guys here one of my biggest flaws and a mistake you should also be wary of because I'm human. And as I said, I'm a degenerate and I try to buy stuff to make money, but it doesn't always work. Well, let me elaborate on that. So if you go over to my Twitter a little while ago here, you might see, hey, the poppy and people I bought earlier today are flying. What meme coins are you buying? This is about 42 minutes ago, but I think I did a post about it probably about 40 minutes or an hour before that as well. And if we check the price, you can see this is the 15 minute chart. A lot of people were spamming me this coin like crazy, so I decided to buy it. Again, understand the maximum was 0.05 ETH, aka $100. So it's not as if whales make crazy bunches of money here. And it's not as if I can't just try them all. So every time that somebody sends me a meme coin, I buy $100 worth of it because that's exactly what leads to tens or hundreds of thousands of dollars in meme coin season. Couple things to watch out for, and that's the, the pitfall of this. So I, I bought it pretty early. I started tweeting about it, and I noticed, hey, a lot of people over on Twitter are, Twitter are saying that you can't sell, which is why I deleted the tweet because, oh, I'm not affiliated with the project. I don't have to tweet anything. And just because I got wrecked doesn't mean I want all of you guys to get wrecked. So I decided to delete my tweet, which obviously has two sides. It means on the one end that people cannot get in, which is good. On the opposite end, it means that people can't get in, which is bad. You understand my drift here? It means that if it turns out this is all just FUD, then I deleted my tweet, meaning people can't buy in early like I wanted them to. Because if you did buy when I first tweeted it, there would have been an easy 4x or so gains already. And I do still believe it might do better. Understand, not sponsored. I don't want you to buy. I'm just saying what I'm doing here. Understand that, please, clearly. Not sponsored. Don't want you to buy this. Just explain to you guys what I'm looking into. Understand, very big difference. I do not want to sell you my bag. I want to teach you how to make money in crypto. Very different things. Please don't comment. If I see anybody comment that, we're going to have a fist fight. We're not. Anyway... And so one thing I'll also recommend every single one of you to do is to make sure you check it with SusBot. There's actually many of these bots out there, but what they basically do is they check a couple of different things. When buying meme coins, you always want to make sure that there's no crazy sell tax, meaning that if you want to sell it, you lose most of your money. You want to make sure that the ownership is transferred. It doesn't always have to be, but you basically want to make sure that the owner doesn't have control over everything. You want to make sure that you can actually sell full stop because a lot of projects you can't and so just i'll, I'll just explain for the sake of explaining here you have liquidity slash market cap taxes for buying and selling buyer sellers gas for the same thing and the maximum amount you can buy maximum amount you can sell you hopefully understand the idea so once more to summarize right now i think most people that have three dollars to their name they might have to miss out on this because well to actually buy one of these meme coins it might cost some gas fees but let's say you've got that covered which ones should you buy to become a millionaire hopefully in a couple of weeks because again starting with this just a thousand dollars or so it probably won't be that unique for people to make hundreds of thousands of dollars in the next week or two if this sets through of course, meme season could be over, but again, where you can find them, I'd say mostly on Twitter, private groups over on Discord and Telegram. And I would like to say follow me, but I don't want to claim that authority here. Guys, all I'm doing is the same as you. A degenerate just trying some different picks, hoping to make it big. The one I just shared with you guys as well. It could have very well been that I talk about it and it turns out to be a scam. And since I'm a little bit wary of that, I'm a little bit afraid to share shump some of these scarier picks but this is basically how it goes for me i just wait for somebody to text me one of my friends hey we're gonna buy this all right i'm buying a hundred dollars worth maybe a couple hundred dollars worth nothing too crazy all right nothing too crazy and then you basically hope that it starts pumping because of something that they do I, i've never launched a coin i don't know exactly what they do in the background and like you guys might have noticed i don't really talk about these joke type of cryptos either i just try to buy them and again understand i am not affiliated with almost everything that i talk about on this channel so for the most part i'm just as clueless as you guys at the end of the day but again that's my principle here. That's my video here. At first, I was thinking, let me make a top five altcoins video. Woo, that would be exciting. But then I thought, you know what? Why would anybody go for an altcoin right now and lock it up for a couple of months, couple of years? I think the big all-time high for Bitcoin is still a year and a little bit away. Right now, it seems that meme coins are going 
to pop off. And there's a small chance that after meme coin season, right? Because right now it's just euphoria. Everything going up. Woo, woo, woo. That it, there's just a very big drop in every single crypto. So I'd say choose your priorities wisely. Um, personally, I'm going for meme coins pretty hard right now. It's not a big percentage of my portfolio in total, but I am going pretty ape wild because Again, if you see the amount of money that people have been making over the last couple of days, it's just worth to try it out. And I'll probably make an update video if uh, it turns out that it was a stupid idea or it's not the hype anymore. But right now, that's literally all I've been doing for the past like 48 hours or so. And it's made me a couple hundred grand, so let's go. After finishing the video, I noticed I should also explain to you guys exactly how to buy and how to sell. For the most part, how it's gonna work is you use two tools. One is DEX tools to find all these cryptos and see the prices, etc. And then mostly Uniswap, it kind of depends on what chain the crypto is on. If it's on BNB, I for the most part use PancakeSwap, but let's say it's on Ethereum, I mostly use Uniswap. And if you want to buy, you take whatever you want to buy with Ethereum and insert here the contract that you're looking to buy and vice versa as well. Of course, connect your wallet first. If you want to sell, then just go into here enter the contract if for example we wanted to buy some uh, some pepe right here we look over on the left and uh, you guys can't perfectly see it but it says pepe right here so we copy the contract and when heading over into uniswap if you copy it in you can see hey we can press it we'll give you a little bit of a warning that you can't trade this everywhere etc but you can it might just not be allowed however so read this through obviously okay i understand and that's about it. That's how you're able to buy something. You just, okay, for example, we wanted to buy 0.05 ETH, which is $100 worth of Pepe. Then we put in 0.05 ETH. It's going to calculate exactly how many tokens we get. And there comes the problem, which is the fee and the slippage. Again, you probably will have to increase the slippage, which it says right here to maybe, depending on how new the coin is, depending on how volatile it is, maybe perhaps even 40%. And again, because right now it's just crazy busy and Ethereum is kind of garbage, it might be so that the fee for buying this could even be as high as $80. Yeah, that's the sad reality of it all. It shouldn't be that way, but it is. And I can't say uh, much, much goods about that. But yeah, that's about it right now. And again, not financial advice. I am not sure that any of this is going to make you money. But I think if we had to pick a way to become a millionaire that's easiest and most guaranteed out of all the ones, it is by buying coins very early, specifically in a market like now where it's just a major hype. Because this was the move for all the years in the past to make crazy amounts of money. So all I can say about that is I'd rather invest a thousand dollars to try my luck and try it out than keep my thousand dollars in my savings and have a thousand dollars because yeah, one of them is going to potentially make you crazy amounts of money. One of them is uh, certainly going to keep going down in value. So unless you have a different plan that works out better, it might be something for you to look at. But again, not financial advice. All I'm sharing is my thoughts on the market, my thoughts on how to make money and it might work, but it also might not do your own due diligence and all that stuff. And just as a little example, right now, everybody over on Twitter and in my telegram is texting me, hey, tomorrow is the FOMC meeting. A lot of guys are looking at the FOMC token. Again, can I guarantee you that it's going to be doing amazing? No. Do I know a lot about it? No. Am I just going to get myself some? Yeah. Why? Why do I do that? Well, because it makes sense. FOMC meeting, FOMC token, there's just probability wise, a good chance it's going to be going up. And again, there are many tokens like that. For example, Gensler or whatever the name of that was could be doing very well if Gensler comes in the news to a certain degree and so forward and so on. Just like I said earlier in this video with Elon Musk, him saying a couple of different words right now. Again, FOMC meeting is tomorrow. And so it's not too stupid to then try to buy an FOMC token because it's the season for it. No fundamentals, just straight up craziness. But I'll be talking about it more over on Twitter or Telegram if I know more about it. Right now, I just got the text and I shared it as soon as possible. But I don't even know if it's actually going to exist or not. I just I saw a text and I thought, hey, let me put it in a video right here. But yeah, just check my Twitter later on and uh, that's about it. See ya.